Morning guys, uh, Gary from g, &G Electronics. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to set up your Dahua MVR to send you motion detector alerts via email. Um, there's a couple of videos out there on YouTube that attempt to show you how to do it, but I can guarantee you, um, you probably didn't have any success in it. I, there's three of them. And I watched all three of them, and none of them, um, by what I see, would ever work to set this up. Um, so I'm going to show you step by step on how to do it. The first thing you're going to need is you need to go to Gmail and get a disposable email account. By what I mean by disposable, it just means that it's a Gmail account that you're never going to use other than solely letting the Dahua MVR run it. Uh, because you're going to have to give Dahua your password to that account. That's how the MBR sends out emails to another account that you want to receive it on. So basically you need two email accounts. You need one sending and one receiving. The, sen the sending one is the one that you don't ever want to use other than solely for the MBR. Because again, you have to give Dahua your password for that account. All right. Um, just another quick note. Um, in most all of my videos now, I'm going to have a PayPal um, donation down in the description down below. Um, just uh, if you really enjoy my videos, I, I, I'm a kind of a hack at videos. I don't have anything splashing across the screen and, you know, all kinds of different you know, what do they call those things? Uh, GIFs and charts and everything else. I, I just get to the point. Um, so if you enjoy my videos, just, you know, give me a donation. 50 cents, doll, doesn't matter. I need a new camera. So anyways, go right now. Get yourself a disposable Gmail account. Then, then continue the video. All right. So continuing on. How I'm going to be accessing the Dahua MVR so that you can see it properly. Um is I'm going to be using ADT Video View. I do have another video that shows you how to set that up. ADT Video View um, is so you can access the uh, MVR locally on a computer, remotely on a computer, and also through your phone. And it's, it's free software. ADT will not charge you. Totally free to use. And that other video, uh, I sent you the link on how to get there. So anyways, Go get yourself a Gmail account and then come back. So I'm going to continue on here and log into um, ADT Video View. So I just got to switch pages here so that you see this. All right. So then it's, there's my ADT, ADMIN. I'm going to log in. Okay. Now. Once you get into video view and once you get your MVR set up on the video view, you'll come up to the screen on the home page. What you want to do is go right down here to the bottom where it says device configuration. Click on it. Come down here to the bottom where it says web. Click on it. Login failed. Let's see what happened. Um, oh, there we go. Let me just get rid of this one. I don't know why that failed. But anyways, just click it again. She'll come up. All right. The first thing you want to do is go to event. You want to go to video detect. You want to go to motion detect. You want to enable. Okay. And then this drop down will show you all your cameras. Right now, I only have one camera. So you can pick whatever cameras you want. You know, it could be your storeroom. It could be the one at the cash register. Um, however you want to do it. Just click on it and select it. All right. So let me just put that back up. You want to go check record channel. You want to check snapshot and then send email. Then you want to hit save. Then you want to go back up here to network. Slide down to email. All right. So now you want to check enable. 
you want to put in the SMTP server address, which I'm going to show you for Gmail. SM, see it automatically populates right there. This is the SMTP server for Gmail because that's the email that you're using to send out alerts. That is the SMPT server you have to put in up here. All right. Change the port to 465. 465. Then in the username, you want to put in the Gmail address for the Gmail throwaway account. That's the one you just made up. That's the one that Dahua has to have access to. So never use it for anything else except for sending alerts from your Dahua MBR. And mine is GG. Electronics.com. Oh, I put an extra E in there. And that's the other thing. Just make sure you put it in. GG Electronics dot com at gmail.com all right now this is where you have to put in the password this isn't the password for your MBR this is the password for your gmail account that's the one you just made that's the throwaway account let's see I gotta remember what mine is all right and then the sender, you, again, you have to put in the the, uh, the sender's Gmail address, which is the same as this one up here. Electronics.com at gmail.com. All right. Now, the, S, the uh, encryption is SSL. Uncheck the attachment because as of right now, there is nobody that I know of. I've, I've scoured the Internet on, on several threads of forums that they cannot get a Dahua to send an attachment. One guy said he did finally get it to work, but he said that the picture is so grainy that is totally unusable. <clears throat> so just un uncheck attachment. You can write in whatever you want here, and that's what the alert is going to say when it when it sends you know to your email address. It'll say MBR. Let's go uh, MBR home alert. Now the receiver. That is where you want to send the alert. So that is to whatever receiving email account. So that's mine is Dahua NBR Tester at gmail.com. That could be your personal email, wherever you want to send that alert. And you can also send it to several people. Let me just make sure I put it in there right. Dahua NBR Tester at gmail.com. Then you just hit the plus sign, and it drops it down into the receiver box. All right? You can put as many people you want that NVR alert to go to. You just keep on adding it and hitting the plus sign, and it will drop down in this box. Now, this, is, this interval means that that's the interval that it will wait between motion detection. Um, I'm going to set mine down to zero just for testing purposes so I get uh, you know a couple of emails rolling into my email account um, health enable that basically just if anything happens to the MVR say that you're running out of space something one of the cameras has a video loss or something like that it'll just send you a, a, a text um, alert all right and what you do is you just hit save all right it says successfully saved now what you want to do is hit the test button. All right. The test succeeded. So that means that it just now sent a test to my Dahua tester at gmail.com. All right. Let's go back up here and I'm going to show you. This is my um, this is my 
email account where I'm sending the alerts and right there it says it's the event it's the health test all right and it sent it at 917 and that was just a second ago but there's one more step you have to do I'm gonna come up here this is the email account that my Dahua sends out the alerts what you have to do in this account after you get it set up is you have to come over here to Google Apps you have to go to account you have to go to security and about three-quarters of the way down you'll hit less than secure app access you have to make sure you turn this on because that gives Dahua direct access to your email account from another uh, from a basically from an IP address that, that that Gmail doesn't even recognize it allows anybody to get into that Gmail account and use it so that's what this less than secure app is you have to turn that on all right so now um, we can actually get out of this account uh, we can get out of this account and I'm going to be just in my Dahua tester account so again we got this all set up all right and I've got this set up at the integral is zero seconds so um, actually I want to delete all of this I want to get that's another alert just came in because I'm moving around and the camera's seeing me I'm going to delete that and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk away and then I'm going to walk back into the camera to send an alert. I just want to make sure that the camera calms down and then I'm going to walk into its view and then it's going to send an alert. So I'm walking back. Oh, it just picked me up. I was walking back to the camera and it just got another one. So you click on it and there it is. Oh, motion detector clear. Sorry, that's the one that clears. That's that's one thing that you cannot shut off. Once the uh, the camera sends you an alert, it'll it'll say motion detect, and then it'll say motion clear. You cannot shut that off. So again, watch. I'm going to get out of the camera view, and it's going to send a clear. But then it's going to immediately send another motion detect because it picked me up. So let me stand over here out of the camera's view. And if you watch, I believe if you watch the screen at the bottom, it'll say another one came in. Let me just wait a second. All right, now I'm going to come back into its view. All right. Let me just refresh this. Let me go inbox, refresh. All right. Just wait for it to come in. Do, 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 do. I might not have got about its view long enough. Let me just wipe this out. I'll get rid of those alerts. Just wait for it to come in. Let me just get out of its way again. I think that setting it at zero is just jamming it up. I might have to set it at 15 seconds. There it is. That's the clear. And then the, um, the other alert will come right in behind it. Yep, there it is right there. So anyways, guys, that is how you do it. Motion detected clear, then it caught, caught motion again, and then clear. Um, just being set at zero, I think I'm jamming up the um, email server. So guys, any questions about this, um, don't hesitate to, you know, drop me a line down below. And if there's something that you want to know how to do on a Dahua or a Hikvision, Drop me a line below, or you can go to gngelectronics.com, and I can pick it up there, too. All right? And again, guys, if you appreciate my videos, um, I would appreciate a little donation. 50 cents. I don't care. I'm just 
collecting some money because I want to get a new camera. All right, guys, I'm going to be giving you guys videos all winter long. Thanks for watching.